Breakup sucks, but life isn't stuff for anyone when it happens. We are here to reassure you that all these feelings you're going through are valid. As painful as it is right now, you want to let you know that it's not always going to be this way. As cliche as it sounds, time will heal you, little by little. Here are six stages of a heartbreak. I had a dream that you were mine. I've had that dream a thousand times, a thousand times, a thousand Obsessions for answers and validations. We often yearn for explanation, especially when we're hurting. But closure isn't always what we get. Even if we do get the closure we wanted, it doesn't always change the outcomes. Through the confusion and frustration, it leads you to the second stage. Denial. You might stop asking yourself for clues and answers, but it doesn't mean you're fully ready to accept the harsh truth. It's all too hard for you to process still. So you're avoiding it for now. Sorrow. This is where everything starts to sink in. In this phase, you'll feel like this is a time where you need him or her the most. You'll look back to all the memories you had with them. The old songs you and your ex used to jam out to in the car with, the movies, the gifts, and one million reasons just suddenly come up in your mind to win them back. Anger. You start to wonder, why me? You feel fed up and angry about the situation. You start holding grudges, but deep down in your heart, you still miss them. You might be denial about it, but if you're still holding to this anger, that means your mind is still all clouded up with your ex. Acceptance. Finally, you grow tired of holding on to these feelings, so you try something healthier by accepting the breakup for what it truly is. There are a lot of different ways in the process of accepting. Some people might want to take their mind off the breakup situation by surrounding themselves with friends and family or communities or doing the things they're passionate with that has been left on hold while they were busy with their previous relationships. Or maybe some people might prefer serendipity and finding peace with themselves by spending time alone and reflecting on the situation. For example, like trying out solo traveling. A lot of people might actually experience self-discovery and find it easier to cope with their broken heart after taking a time off the everyday hustle and bustle and rewarding themselves a therapeutic trip out of the city. Hopefulness After all the long process of acceptance, you will find yourself learning to let it all go. The two of you made memories together and played significant roles in each other's lives, so be thankful for it and let go. 
In this stage, it's better for you to fully forgive your ex, forgive yourself, and move on. You hope for the best for your ex and for yourself. Seeing him or her with somebody new wouldn't be a problem for you because you feel content and whole and your heart has healed over time. It's important to remember to take your past relationship as a lesson. All the heartbreak you go through should be taken as an experience. Each one brings you closer at finding that perfect one. It might not happen in the blink of an eye. But when the time comes, Maybe you'll find a person whose eyes would glisten just like yours do when you see your favorite book. The person whose words are just in the exact shape of your scars. Are you going through a breakup? Which stage are you in? <laughs>